Hey guys, today we are going to look at numbers and whether they are rational or irrational. We're going to be answering the question, how do I determine if a number is rational or irrational? And I have the Desmos calculator pulled up to the side. I will show you how to use that. So first let's talk about rational numbers. Rational numbers are numbers that can be written as fractions or certain decimals. So if you see anything written in fraction form, that's automatically gonna be rational number. Rational numbers include terminating or repeating decimals. Basically, decimals that stop or decimals that have a pattern. That's what repeating means, they have a pattern. Okay, and it also includes whole numbers and perfect squares. So those are rational, they are fractions, terminating or repeating decimals, and whole numbers. Okay, irrational numbers are pretty much numbers that don't fall into that category. Irrational numbers cannot be written in fraction form. They include non-terminating and non-repeating decimals. Basically decimals that go on forever with no pattern. And that includes non-perfect squares and pi. Which that one we're going to look at first. So on all of these, we're just gonna figure out if they're rational or irrational and explain why. So pi is the first one. We approximate pi to be about 3.14, but in reality, pi goes on forever and there's no pattern. So pi is always irrational. And we say it is irrational because it is non-terminating, meaning it doesn't stop, it goes on forever and non-repeating. There's no pattern to it. Okay, number two, square root of 100 plus one. So square root of 100 plus one, that would be 10 plus one, which is 11. Since this is a whole number, it is rational. So this is rational because it simplifies to a whole number. If you didn't want to do this math work in your head, you could double check with the calculator. Square root of 100, you would arrow out plus one and you would get 11. Okay, next one, since this is a fraction, it is automatically rational. Because it is a fraction. All right, so number four, three pi. Since this number has pi in it, that automatically makes it irrational. If you see pi anywhere, then that makes it irrational. Okay, square root of 20. This is a non-perfect square, so I know it's going to be irrational because it is a non-perfect square. The two perfect squares it sits between are square root of 16, that's four, and square root of 25, that's five, so this is non-perfect. Okay, then this one says determine if the number is rational or irrational, square root of 20 plus five. So I need to simplify this. I'm gonna add those numbers together and I get square root of 25, which is five. It simplifies to a whole number, so this is rational. Whole number. Let's compare five and six in the calculator really quick. So number five was square root of 20. You can see that that is a decimal that's repeating and going on forever, so that's why it is irrational. Okay, then number six was square root of 20 plus five. And you can see that that is a whole number. So you can check in the calculator for the difference between irrational and rational as well. 
Okay, number seven, it says determine if the number is rational, irrational, and explain why. So I know square root of 144 is a perfect square. I'm just going to check in the calculator. Negative square root of 144 simplifies to a whole number, so it is rational. Because it simplifies to a whole number number. Okay, number eight, it says determine if it's rational or irrational, negative 5.65. So remember, terminating decimals, decimals that stop are rational. So this is rational because it is a terminating decimal. Okay, number 11, it says give an example of a rational number that is less than two. So there's lots of examples of rational numbers. It could be a whole number, a fraction, or a terminating decimal. I'm just gonna go with a fraction I know is less than two. I'm gonna use two thirds. Okay, then last example, Jerry wants to find the side length of a square that has an area of 50 feet. What will the side length be rational or an irrational number? So remember to find the side length of a square. I have to take the square root of the area. And the area in this case to find the side length is 50. So I'm going to check in the calculator. Square root of 50 is not a perfect square. So this number, it would be irrational. Okay, so that was the difference between rational and irrational numbers. I'm just going to sum it up really quick. Irrational numbers are decimals that go on forever with no pattern, which include pi and non-perfect squares.